Hello everyone, in this video we're going to visualize a Lorenz attractor with Python. But first, let's talk about the cost theory and the butterfly effect. This effect states that a tiny causes can create huge changes. So it goes like this, a butterfly effect between in Brazil could have a massive effect like setting a tornado in Texas. Well, this idea comes from this guy. Edward Norton Lawrence, who published a paper about it in 1963. This is a concept that a lot seemingly small chaotic variances and initial conditions can make huge differences. There is a lot of things that cannot be predicted far in advance, like hurricanes and tornadoes, simply because there are a massive amount of variables that goes beyond our capability to measure. Hence, the assumption of time travel we see in the movies that if you go back in the past and change even the slightest event, the butterfly effect will cause a drastic chain of reactions that can change the course of history. The period of time when you originally left would not be the same when you returned. Well, the Lorenz attractor is notable for having some chaotic solutions like the double pendulum and many others. The Lorenz system is deterministic, which means that if you know the exact starting values of your variables, then in theory you can determine their future values as they change with time. Lorenz demonstrated that if you begin this model by choosing some values for x, y, and z, and then do it again with just slightly different values, then you quickly arrive at a fundamentally different result. Here are the equations that we're gonna use. These are simple three ordinary differential equations known as Lorentz equations. Before implementing the Lorentz equations, let's make sure that everything is ready. I'm gonna be using Python Pygame. If you don't have Pygame, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for it. So first, we're gonna import Pygame and call this. Write the configuration for Pygame. You don't really have to add OS, since I'm only using it for full screen. Let's set the resolution of our screen. We're gonna add sigma rho beta as we can see in the equation and make also the variables x, y, and z. Now just write as it's shown in the equation, we multiply it by time and then we're gonna add the coordinates by the equations. So but we're gonna have to add the half of the width value to x and the half of the height value to y because the zero origin of Python screens is at the left corner. So here's the 2D representation of the Lorenz attractor, but then we want it in 3D. Since the Python doesn't have 3D, we're gonna have to make it from scratch. First, we're gonna need the functions that multiply matrix don't worry about it, I'm gonna cover the 3D rendering soon in the next series where I'm gonna be talking about ray tracing and other things. Then uh, let's make the functions from multiplying matrix.
and then import the matrix multiplication function. And add some variables. And now we're gonna need some rotation matrix and projection matrix for our 3D modeling. Now, let's write a function that converts HSV value to RGB value since we need a rainbow color for this. Yeah, and there we go. The full link for this project is in the description.
hope you enjoyed the tito don't forget to like share and subscribe see you soon